All right, let us try this again. Now, by the again, you know that this is my second chair shot at this. Okay, we are making the Swiss fondue burgers with parsley fries and smoky dipping sauce. And this is what it should look like when I'm done. Now, I am supposed to have a pan with tin foil sprayed with a cooking spray. Two frying pans, one large, one medium. A mixing bowl. Assorted knives. Of course, my wonderful little mincing scissors. My mini little cup and measuring spoons. My father is always asking me, do we really need so many measuring spoons and knives? And I say, yes, because I don't always get them washed before the next time I'm cooking. Okay, so anyway, welcome to Rosalind's Home Chef cooking blog. Oh, now I gotta get up. <laughs> All right, so what they are tell oh, and I also have to have olive oil, of course, and a chop, chop slap, slap chop, whatever. So they provide the hamburger, the buns, which kind of got smushed in the process of the shipment. I really wish they would be more careful with their buns. Potatoes, Thousand Island, smoky paprika, cheese, parsley, onion, and cream, of which I'm not going to use all of it according to the recipe. Oh, and uh, garlic. So, let us get going with this. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to stem and mince my parsley, which is looking pretty good this time. Sometimes they look a little smooshed by the time they get to me, but this is looking pretty good. So, pull the main stems off. Get my little bowl here. And start mincing my parsley. I love my scissors. I truly do. I am so glad I bought these scissors. I thought about them for a while before I actually bought them. And then I went, you know, these are so practical. They will be wonderful. And they have been. All right, so we, are, we now have the parsley all minced. Now what I need to do is mince the garlic. So I have my little garlics here, and I cut them up so they're easier to mince. I put them in my little chopper here. Um, and there we are, minced garlic ready to be used. My next thing is to cut my potatoes into half inch sticks. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but sometimes I have issues trying to cut my potatoes into like thin things. Now, I know they have these wonderful things that like do it for you, but I don't have any of those. Or I have one, but the parts are missing. They went bye-bye somewhere in the universe, and I haven't bought one yet. So that's on my Christmas wish list, a thing that will slice my potatoes into sticks. All right, so now they are all 
cut up. They're in this bag because I'm going to be tossing them with olive oil. So, now the thing is that I'm going to be tossing them and then I'm going to be baking them. But it has been my experience that baking generally leaves the fries kind of soggy. So after I've baked them for half their time, I'm going to stick them in the hot oil fryer and get them crisp. Now, I have peeled the onion, and now they say to slice halves into thin strips. So here we go for the thinness. Not sure if that's the thin strip or if that's a thin strip. I'm always curious because they don't actually show which one you're you're cutting, you know. So let me see. That doesn't quite look it. At least not what I'm looking at in my picture, which let me see if I can show you. There. See? Kind of looks like they're circular. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go with the circular motion. Alright, so here we have the thinly sliced onions. And they kind of look like what was in the picture. Now, they say I need to combine the Thousand Island, the paprika, and half of the parsley in the mixing bowl. Oh, and the garlic in the mixing bowl. So, half of my parsley. Okay. And my garlic. And I that was hard. Mm. <coughs> oh dear. Do not get your hands near your mouth if you have touched raw garlic. It is very nasty. Okay, we're gonna use scissors this time. Alright, there we go. Parsley and all other good stuff in the bowl. And now I am to mix it and set it aside. So here we go. All right, so we are mixing it. Very strange looking mixture here, but it is mixed. And now I will set it aside. Alright, so now the fries have been oiled and they are ready to go into the 450 oven for 20 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, we managed to make it over here without my turning off the uh, video. So there is hope for me. Now I am to put this pan, the medium pan, over medium low heat and I'm letting it get hot. Now for some reason they don't want me to put anything in it yet until it gets hot. So we are waiting for it to get hot. In the meantime I have done the hamburgers made the patties, put salt and pepper on them, and so they are just waiting to be cooked. All right, we have finally gotten to where it's hot. So now I'm going to put some olive oil. They say one teaspoon. I tend to get a little excited with my olive oil. Uh, just my own thing. Put the onions in. Put a fourth of a teaspoon of uh, salt. 
a pinch of pepper. And now I will stir it and let it brown for about 12 to 15 minutes. So, I'll be back. Now, while I'm waiting for them to get soft and mushy, I went ahead and made the salads. I'm adding blackberries to them this time, and because blackberries can sometimes be kind of sour, I added a little Truvia to the top of them. It's non-dairy sweetener. It's wonderful. I like it. All right, so my potatoes have now been baked, and now I'm going to deep fry them for a few minutes so that they get nice and crispy. Now, while my onions are cooking, I am heating up this pan over there so that I can uh, move my hamburgers to it because, they, again, they want it hot. So, here we go. All right, so now we have transferred the onions after I added the water, and they are going to cook and get all kind of, um, they say, sweet and jammy. I'm hoping that I have not screwed something up somewhere because they don't exactly look like the picture. But now it is time to cook the hamburgers. They say to cook them for four to six minutes. I'm going to do it for four minutes. You can always cook something more. It's hard to uncook something. In fact, it's pretty near impossible. Olive oil there. Love you guys. Nice. And now I am to move the hamburgers to another plate which in this case is going to be a pan and put the pan somewhere warm. See, I'm going to put it in my warm oven here so that they don't get cold. And now I'm to wipe out the pan and reuse it. All right, now the pan has been returned and it's on medium heat. And to spray it down with some cooking spray. And now we toast the buns. For one minute. And after that, then we continue on. My onions, as you can see, are starting to look more jammy. Although, they still don't look like the picture, but reality and pictures are two very different critters. Now, well, they didn't really toast all that much, but now I put them on a plate and I keep them warm, which in this case is going to be the oven again. that drives me a little bit crazy sometimes is that they tell me to do these things and yet it's like that you things get cold while you're doing it you know so now I am stirring the cream and they said the cream and a pinch of salt so the salt has been pinched. All right, so now the cream has to be stirred and allowed to boil. And then I'm going to add the cheese. And then we should be ready to put it all together and eat. Well, that sounds good. All right, so we are stirring the cream and I will get back. 
to you. All right, so now we stir the cheese in and we let it melt. And this is the fondue. So now we put it all together. All right, so we put the hamburgers on the bottom bun. Onions. Ah! My onions, they are running away on me. All right. And with the fondue, which is being difficult in and of itself. Tops on. Put the fries. Come on, get off of there, fry. And because I know my father likes fries, there. And here is the dipping sauce. And there we have it. So, this is what it was supposed to look like. And this is what it looks like. Now, let us hope that it tastes good. Okay, the final and word on the sandwiches were they were excellent. Uh, my dad liked them. I liked them. This will be a definite one to try again sometime. That's all, folks.